Okay, so this is part two of my racing with Sim. Um, this lap you're watching right now is actually the very first lap. So this could actually be part one. But I've already made part one, so this is part two, and that's how we're doing it, okay? Um, so I'm the one with the GoPro on my head. Nathan hasn't got his. So it only makes sense that in every opportunity I have, I let Nathan go past me. Um, content is content, right? Everyone likes to see Nathan Webb's name in my titles. So here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Um, before I continue to commentate in this video, um, I am racing today. I'm saying today because this this video is being uploaded on Wednesday the 25th. I'm racing on the 40 lapper at 10 p.m. tonight. And then I'm also racing the members free for two on Monday at 25 past eight. And that's the 1st of June, I believe. Um, thanks to Tom in the comments section for reminding me to book on because I, I don't know why I haven't booked on. I've literally been telling people like all week, maybe two weeks ago, that I'm, I'm going to race this week. And I've not been booked on, but I have booked on now. So, yeah, you'll see me there. If you're coming down to race and you see me, give me a heads up. If you want to borrow my GoPro, feel free. I'll take my GoPro for one race. Um, and then my GoPro is free for anyone who wants to use them in, I don't know, the next two races. I mean, even if you're on the 10 past 8 session, you can use it, bring it me back. And then I'll just continue to use it as I would. Uh, but anyways, I also thought this video would be good just to explain the track conditions and the temperature it was. It was 19 degrees this night, which was definitely the hottest night of the year so far. Uh, I came off with a 59.2. I think Nathan did a 59.5, 59.6, can't remember now, but the grip I was getting through some of the turns was insane. The video doesn't really do it justice, but when I come back round, I will uh, explain how it was affecting the lap times, because a lot of people are probably thinking, why am I so much slower now? Well, there's a few reasons actually, mainly because you're, you're probably understeering on corners you never usually understeer on, like I was tonight, for example, well, on this race, and when you're lifting, you're also losing a lot of speed because the grip is that high. It's, it's, it's almost like driving on two flat rear tyres. If, you, if, you, um, if you're driving a car and you lift off your accelerator, you're going to come to a stop. Uh, much faster than you would if the tyres were fully inflated. Again, that's science. If you think about it, that makes total sense. So, turn four is the big one here coming up. I was lifting as I normally would. I mean, that was just unfortunate that I ended up trying to dive Nathan there. <laughs> uh, but that corner in particular, I was lifting, and then I was getting that much grip after lifting that it was slowing me down. So I do think that that corner is the main lap time killer at the minute. My issue is being a lightweight and Nathan's issue and a lot of the other elite lightweights um, would have been facing, especially on the members Thursday event or the Monday 3 for 2 that's just gone, would have been the high amount of grip they had into turn 4 and when they was lifting unless you're a middleweight or a heavyweight and you've got a good centre of gravity you wasn't going to be doing that corner uh, fast as you would like to costing a lot of people time I probably, sh I probably should have thinking about it if I could have went a bit further there and then turned more narrower I might have done that a bit better it might be a little bit better to lose a bit of traction going through there at the minute uh, I'm doing the 40 lapper today, like I said, so I will see if I get an opportunity to take a newer line or a fresh approach, and then I'll make some feedback on if it was helpful and did me a faster time in my next video when I upload it. Uh, so yeah, this video is literally me in every opportunity I have. I'm letting Nathan pass me, and then I'm playing catch up to Nathan. There's some times where I feel like diving on the inside. Oh, here's Jim. Hi, Jim. <laughs> uh, Jim came off about halfway through this race. Um, he doesn't race the track often, but 
doing anything longer than 15 minutes after not racing here for a long time or a while is so tiring. So I think he probably has this little battle. Yeah, Nathan falls back to battle with him. Um, I'll move on to the next clip. So I pull, I go really slowly through here. This is my bad, to be honest. I totally misjudge uh, my rolling speed and I kind of compromise Jim's racing line as I roll up to the turning point for a heavyweight driver. So I apologize for that and my miscalculation. <laughs> um, but I, I just want to see at this point, how quick can I catch up to Jim? I know that Jim's probably doing mid 60 second laps because uh, I'm, I'm trying to work out what someone of his body type would be doing in the temperature of day that it is. So I kind of worked out that he'd probably be doing like 60.6s um, just by some simple maths that's in my brain. And believe it or not, I'm pretty sure he did a 60.5 or 60.6, one of them. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to see how quick I was clawing the distance. And I think I calculate it about one second a lap. So I'm now thinking, hmm, I'm probably only doing mid 59 second laps. If I was absolutely like bolting my way to gym, I'd be in 58s, no problem. But it's took me like a good lap and a half you know, to actually close the gap. Um, Jim is a very good racer. Clearly experienced in the racing field. I, he does own Century Sim. He does lots of sim racing uh, competitions and stuff, I think. Um, lots of 24-hour uh, sim races, which I think is mental. Uh, not mental, as in it's sad mental in the fact that it's on a screen as well, so God, your eyes must have to be good. I actually have glasses um, if I if I need to look at a computer for so long. So yeah, kudos to people who can last that long in a sim race. Uh, I come into the pit here just because I want Nathan to get back behind me. So shout out to Charlie and Alex who's in the pit lane. And Alex, yes, you're eating my cake. Thanks for the thumbnail. Um, Here's Nathan again, probably sick of seeing me. And I, I kind of wanted to get a little bit closer, but the acceleration is much slower in the hotter weather, just because you actually grip like really well. Uh, so this is another test I'm trying to do now. You see the little understeer I was getting at the top of the mini ramp? Uh, sorry, top of the bigger ramp. It was that strange, I've never seen understeer there before. I was getting it in this car tonight. Um, again, probably because the higher tyre pressures at the front and the warmer track. It was just strange. It was new to me. Um, but yeah, I want to see how quick or if I can gain a little margin of time on Nathan. So this was my biggest test using this. I think probably in the next a minute and a half I'll probably claw nearly a second on him maybe uh, I do come off with a 59.2 and he does come off with a 59.5 or 59.6 so again the maths works out um, there's not really anything else to commentate on this video to be honest you're just going to see me do my best to catch Nathan up which I do ever so slowly. Um, but that's pretty much the video. Uh, I'll leave the rest of the clips in. There's probably going to be another two minutes worth. Um, but yeah, this was racing with Team Centrisim, Jim, James Whitehouse, the owner of Centrisim, and everyone's favourite um, GoPro recorder at Team Sport Warrington, Nathan Webb. <laughs> Every time I put Nathan's name in the titles, the videos do really well. Uh, but yeah, I would start saying um, make sure you actually subscribe because I do try and make quite uh, regular content. I'm quite consistent with my uploads right now. Um, I do notice that a lot of my views, yeah, a lot of people like my videos, view my video. Not that many people subscribe, 
I'm, I'm probably getting five subscribers a day, which is great, I guess. But there's probably only 10% of viewers, 5% of viewers who are actually uh, subscribed to me. So yeah, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. I'm not forcing you. But there'll be plenty of videos coming throughout the summer, especially with different team sports tracks because my tour is currently underway. Um, also, BIKC is coming up, so there's probably going to be a few people who will be watching and reviewing some of my videos for BIKC. Um, I'm not entering BIKC mainly because I've never really agreed with the format. I know the format has changed this year, but there's just many factors that could make you spend all that money in qualifying, going to regionals, blah blah blah, and then just getting really unlucky in the final race. And that will be quite annoying. Uh, so yeah, I don't race BIKC for those reasons. But I'm happy to help anyone who's wanting to race BIKC and study for my videos. Uh, feel, free, uh, feel free to email me, Facebook me, do whatever you want. I will do my best for you. Um, but yeah, that's Team Sport. Warrington versus Centrism. And I'll see you at the next video.